Demand for COVID-19 vaccines in Tarrant County is slowly increasing. That's according to the county's public health director. But it is up against a concerning trend showing a rise in new cases, hospitalizations, and deaths. As Lily Zhang reports, Tarrant County first responders are doing everything they can to treat patients and not overwhelm hospitals. Back in June, MedStar crews responded to an average of 50 patients potentially with COVID-19 each day. That daily average has more than doubled. Now we're at 131 patients a day. Matt Zavatsky with MedStar says that trend mirrors what the rest of the community is seeing in terms of virus spread. In Tarrant County, the COVID-19 positivity rate remains around 21%. Public Health Director Vinny Tanasia says there is a concern over the increase in hospitalized children. So it is my appeal to those parents, get the facts, vaccine is safe, let's get your kids vaccinated. They don't have any other protections as they're going into schools. To help hospital capacity, Savatsky says MedStar has a protocol when it comes to patients who are potentially positive for COVID-19. If they have symptoms but are otherwise stable, fully conscious, and breathing normally, they're not transported. We give them information. We give them printed materials on how to get tested, how to seek other care, because we're really trying to help preserve the capacity in our local emergency departments by doing that. Back in May and June, that protocol was used once every three days or so, he says. They're now experiencing it about eight times daily. All of the frontline healthcare workers, including first responders, are right now stretched to the max. Stretched to the max, but not without a fight. In Fort Worth, Lily Zhang, NBC5.